my channel. My name is Junior Lee. I'm a vacant land wholesaler who's closed almost 100 deals in my career. And in this series, I'm going to go over every single one of those deals. I'm going to go over exactly how I sourced the lead, how I generated the lead, how I got it under contract, and how I sold it, as well as going over the closing process. My goal with this series is to add enough value to assist others in being successful as well. This deal, I'm going to go over my eighth deal, where I made $13,500 on a double closing. It was a vacant piece of land in Banks County, Georgia. If you've been following this series up to this point, then you're going to hear this. It's gonna, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but the list was created on PropStream. I went on and I created my vacant land list of qualified sellers. Once I made that list, I exported it and I sent it to clearskip.com for skip tracing. Once the numbers were provided for the landowners and sent back to me, I exported that list into an SMS software. You can use whatever software you want. What I am currently using right now is Launch Control, but you can use anything. Just make sure you stay compliant. Once the list was exported into the SMS software, that's when I began texting the sellers. Once I began texting the sellers, this particular seller replied, and they already had a price in mind of $6,500 for 3.3 acres. Once I verified that this property was not listed with a realtor, because I personally do not partake in wholesaling on market properties, I know that there's a lot of people that swear by wholesaling MLS listed properties, but I personally just do not do that. Um, so I asked, is this listed with a realtor? And they said no. After verifying the listing status, I then moved on to the utilities. I asked about the current utility situation, if the property has public access to sewer and water, and if it does not, does it already have a well and a septic? They just informed me that there was only access to electric, and then I asked, okay, well, what about the zoning? Is there restrictions um, for this property? They let me know that it was unrestricted, meaning that once it's purchased, I could either build a house on it or place a mobile home. It was up to me. This lot being unrestricted made it more desirable. In a rural county like Banks County, Georgia, having the ability to sell it to any type of buyer is advantageous. So I knew going into this lead that it was unrestricted, that it was already looking like a good lead. It was 3.3 acres. He only wanted $6,500. And I referred back to PropStream to see if there were any comps. In rural counties like Banks County and the surrounding counties in North Georgia, it is tough to find comps sometimes. So for this particular lot, there was not an exact 3.3 acre comp within half a mile or even a mile radius, but there was another vacant land comp, which was two acres that it sold for the low 20,000s. Also, the subject property, the 3.3 acres that I was inquiring about, seemed more desirable to me because a little over one acre sat on the north side of the main road and the remaining of the 3.3 acres sat on the south side. So on a map, it appeared like it was two separate properties, but the way that the title of this property would convey those two, what seemed to be separate pieces of property were one parcel number. So they were combined into one 3.3 acre track, but it was being sold as one property. So in my mind, it was 3.3 acres for $6,500, but it was essentially two properties or at least had the potential for that. So seeing the two acre property that sold for low twenties within half a mile of this property and knowing that it at least had the potential to be looked at as two properties, I was confident in taking this property down at $6,500 plus closing costs, even though I did not reverse wholesale this one and have a buyer in mind. I knew that if I got it under contract, that I then would find a buyer for this property or my buyers in other locations would at least take a look at it. So I agreed to the $6,500. I didn't even make a lower offer to the man. I sent him the purchase agreement and after he reviewed it, we both signed via DocuSign. Now keep in mind, all of this is still done virtually. I do live in North Georgia, about 45 minutes away from this property, but I did not go see it in person. I saw enough from the computer that made me confident in taking this property under contract. Now that I had an agreement in place and I was in my inspection period, I began to market the property. I sent details of the property to my current buyers that I had in other counties 
as well as putting the deal on Facebook groups and Facebook Marketplace. My current buyer pool were only new construction investors at that point in time. Now, fast forward almost four years later, I do have a wide variety of buyers in many areas, so I don't have the same problem I had back then. But my current buyer pool, were there were a specific type of buyer that were all buying the same type of property in a different area, so they were not interested in this particular deal. Luckily, this was the deal that taught me that retail buyers are a very important market that you need to be servicing as a wholesaler. I guess you can't technically consider yourself a wholesaler when you're selling retail, but it is a very good way to make money. Call it whatever you want to, it is a great way to make money. And this was the deal that taught me that. So when I posted on Facebook groups and Facebook Marketplace, my inbox was flooded. I got a lot of messages from agents and um, personal buyers that wanted the deal owner to owner. So I let everybody know, hey, I'm wholesaling this lot. Um, you can go take a look at it. I've gotten more interest than I was anticipating. So the first person to go out and make an offer is who I'm willing to work with. Uh, here are the details. So I gave that to everyone that was interested and they started to request times to go and view the property. This one particular lady was extremely proactive. She messaged me within half of an hour of me posting it on Facebook Marketplace and went out and seen the property right after we got off the phone um, from the Facebook Marketplace message. And she had submitted a verbal offer within two hours of me posting it on Facebook. So she was unrepresented. She had no agent involved. I let her know, um, you know, not the current owner, have it under contract. Um, we're going to be doing a double closing. She was cool with it. And she made the offer of $21,000 plus closing cost, which worked for me. So I sent her a purchase agreement with my LLC as the seller and her personal name as the sole purchaser. She was buying it to place a mobile home on it for her son to live in, but she was going to keep it in her name. Once she had reviewed the purchase agreement with her as the buyer and my LLC as the seller and was ready to move forward, we also both signed via DocuSign. Again, keep in mind, I still have yet to see the property and I've got the purchase and sale agreement between myself and the current owner for $6,500 plus closing cost and my new buyer for $21,000 plus closing cost. I take both of those purchase agreements and I email it to my closing attorney. They then begin the title search and once title was back clear to close, we scheduled closing. It was really cool because we were able to schedule closing two days before Christmas. So for this deal, since I wasn't taking an assignment and I was actually signing closing documents, I had to physically attend the closing in person. So on December 23rd, I went to the closing and signed my closing documents. I actually met my buyer at that time. It was really interesting. It turns out she knew a lot of people from my family. I knew a lot of people from hers. We were a lot closer connected than we had thought. And it was really nice to get her this piece of property, meet each other right before Christmas, and then still walk away two days before Christmas with a $13,500 check. So on the day of closing, I signed the closing documents to purchase it, which was $6,500 plus closing cost at the time was a thousand dollars, a little less than I just rounded up for the video purposes. And then I signed simultaneously right after with my buyer for 21,000 plus closing costs, which gave me the net of $13,500. It was a great deal for my buyer and it was allowed me to build a great relationship with someone who I still talk to to this day. Um, she was able to get the south side of the property, the bigger of the two tracks, and keep it for herself. Um, I believe they're going to set up a mobile home for her son to live on. And they were actually able to sell the north side of the property, the smaller, little over an acre track, for $10,000. So she bought, at the time, 3.3 .3 acres that was at least worth $31,000, $32,000 for $21,000. Now, fast forward 2024, it's worth way more than that. And she was able to sell 30% of the property for half of what she bought it for. So she's really only in the hole at this point for $11,000. And she has 2.2 acres in a really desirable rural community in North Georgia. To summarize everything, I created this list on PropStream. 
I then exported the list and sent it to clearskip.com. I have a link below. It's an affiliate. I get paid. Use them if you want. Use whoever. It's up to you. I personally use Clearskip because they've worked since the beginning. I've been using them since I got started. They're accurate. They're quick. It's what works for me. You can use anybody. I know there's a ton of other companies out there. Use whoever. If you want to use my affiliate link, that's cool. Clearskip's awesome. And so use them if you want. And then I, once the numbers are returned to me within a, an hour or two of sending them the list, I then export it into an SMS software. Again, there's tons of options out there. You can use any SMS software you want. Some are a little bit more difficult than others as you have to worry about doing integrations and staying compliant and doing uh, brand registrations, campaign registrations with Twilio or Clevo. I personally am just using Launch Control. It's hands-off compliance, 10 DLC registration. They do everything for you. For a while, I was scared off of Launch Control because of the price tag. It looks like it's going to be more than, than it appears to be. But any other software that you're using, you're going to have to pay for the base software, user add-ons, phone add-ons, as well as whatever integration that you're going to use. So it's going to be about the same as whatever you're paying for Launch Control. So I personally just completely switched to Launch Control recently, and it's been great ever since. I, I'm able to plug my VAs straight into there. They have AI automation tools. They have drip automated follow-up campaigns. So it makes it super easy for my virtual assistants to stay on top of all of my leads and all of the deals coming in, as well as for me, it's, everything is just so organized for me to go in there and make my offers. So. If you want to use Launch Control, I'll have a link below as well. Again, it's an affiliate. You can use that if you want, or you can use any other software. Don't let not using the softwares I'm talking about stop you from doing this. You can use your phone if you want. There's ways to start for free, but it is advantageous to have these tools and software. If you're following this playlist, you know that I started for free, but as soon as I got some traction, I poured straight into the business with automation, skip tracing, softwares, virtual assistants, you got to turn this thing into a business. So that's the summary. I sold this deal was on Facebook marketplace. It's a great resource to find retail buyers, local agents, different types of buyers that you won't find at local networking events, real estate, Facebook groups, or any other way that you find traditional buyers, such as pulling off market buyer list from PropStream and texting. Facebook is a great way to connect with buyers that you wouldn't find in other methods.